Local 22 News starts now with your forecast first. Hey, good evening, everybody. I was just told that it was disgustingly cold outside. That is a direct quote from someone in this building. And is it that? I don't know. It's still pretty cold, though. Single digits, Newport and Saranac Lake. 12 degrees from Montreal through Plattsburgh and Burlington. 23 in Lebanon. The views are good. Nice crescent moon we've got going on, hiding behind the tree in Lake Placid, along with, I noticed this yesterday, star illuminated. So we'll get to enjoy that for probably another month or so. Views are great, quiet, dry from our backyard in Colchester. So your plans tonight, you're not going to get icy, not going to get snowed in or anything, but it is going to progressively get colder and colder. We, we wake up tomorrow morning on either side of zero, at least the wind is light. We'll see if that'll set any records. Then talk about highs near 40 and a potential weekend mess. It's all still in the cards now on Local 22 News at 6. Michael Cohen going behind bars. Details on the sentencing of President Trump's former attorney. Plus, uh, lakes and ponds are freezing, but will the ice ever become safe? And we're here at Stonecutter Spirits in Burlington. Coming up, we'll tell you how a gingerbread house contest is helping raise money for struggling Vermonters this holiday season. From WVNY, this is Local 22 News at 6. Good evening. We appreciate you joining us. I'm Lauren Maloney. And I'm Mike Hoey. First on Local 22 for you tonight, President Trump's former personal lawyer is facing three years behind bars. That's what a federal judge sentenced Michael Cohen to today. Cohen is the first member of Trump's inner circle to receive a significant prison term in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Kristen Holmes now with more. Michael Cohen is going to prison. President Trump's former lawyer, friend and fixer sentenced to three years for financial crimes and lying to Congress. While he refused to make a statement when leaving the courthouse, Cohen had a lot to say while inside, telling the judge, quote, the president tweeted a statement calling me weak and it was correct but for a much different reason than he was implying. It was because time and time again, I felt it was my duty to cover up his dirty deeds. In August, Cohen pleaded guilty to multiple criminal counts, including two campaign finance violations tied to payments made to women during the 2016 campaign to stay silent about alleged sexual encounters with Trump. This is an outrage. He deserves every day of the 36 month sentence that he will serve. Michael Cohen was sentenced today. Donald Trump is next. Last month, he pleaded guilty to lying to Congress about how long discussions involving a proposed Trump Tower in Moscow had gone during the campaign. Cohen's sentence will be the longest, stemming from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. In Washington, I'm Kristen Holmes reporting. In addition to his prison sentence, the judge ordered Cohen to pay nearly $2 million in restitution and fines. In your Crime Watch tonight, a Richmond woman will have to go to court on December 27th after being arrested for driving the wrong way on I-89 North. Vermont State Police say they arrested 41-year-old Jennifer Ushus shortly after 11 last night. She's accused of driving the wrong way for about five miles before troopers stopped her car near the Richmond-Williston town line. Eusius is charged with DUI and gross negligent operation. Police are asking for your help in finding the suspect involved in an armed robbery in Rutland. Police say it happened last night at the Days Inn. They say a man wearing a maroon hooded sweatshirt and a black ski mask went into the hotel and ordered the person at the front desk to give him money. Now, the man also waved a crowbar, we're told, at the individual. The suspect did get some cash before taking off. No one was hurt. If you know anything, call police. And authorities say they've captured and killed a bobcat in Wilder Village that may have been rabid. The Hartford police say on Facebook that the bobcat bit a woman this morning in her yard on Candlelight Terrace without provocation. She was taken to Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. The Valley News is reporting that the animal also bit a second person. The Hartford PD and Vermont game wardens warned people living near the Hazen Trail to stay inside while they tracked the bobcat down. Police say they contained it near Prospect Street and that wardens have since removed it. Well, turning to safety matters now, chilly weather means that the ice on area lakes and ponds has been thickening up a bit. 
But is it really safe and when will it get there? Local 22's Haley Belay joins us now in the studio. Haley. Lauren and Mike, good evening to you. Of all of the people I spoke with today, each agency echoed the same sentiment. No ice is 100% safe. I've already seen people out on Lake Champlain as early as yesterday ice skating around. So I sat down with experts to see what tips to remember when you're headed out on any frozen waters. No ice is really safe ice because you can't tell the thickness and the density of it. But that hasn't stopped many eager to get a head start on the winter season, already getting out on area lakes and ponds. Some of the smaller ponds and small bays of the Lake Champlain are starting to freeze over and we're already seeing activity on them with ice fishing and ice skating and things like that. Because there hasn't been much snow cover, it's easy for people to get out on the ice. Already freezing up thanks to a chilly start to the season, Mike Ackerlin, the assistant team leader of the Colchester Technical Rescue Team, warns folks to know how much ice is between them and the water water below before stepping out. A general guideline is that safe ice for a person to walk on is at least four inches thick and that depends on the consistency of the ice and how fast it froze. As for snow machines, the experts recommend five inches of ice, eight to 12 inches for small cars or trucks. It hasn't been all that cold recently and there's still the ice that's out there is only an inch or two thick in some spots. And if you do choose to risk it, Acrolin says preparing for the worst can help to save your life. Anytime you're out on the water or out on the ice rather, it's going to be good to just at least let somebody know where you're going, you know, where you're going to park a vehicle or how you're accessing that spot and what time you plan on being back. So that if you don't come back, we at least have a place to start looking for somebody. Now, if you do fall through the ice, Ackerlin says you have about 60 seconds before your body goes into shock and hypothermia starts to kick in. Making sure that you have ice picks and other devices to help you pull yourself out of the water is crucial to save yourself. Live in studio, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. Haley, thank you. Happening now in Burlington, people are gathering for a gingerbread house competition. Sounds good. Mm. The money benefits struggling Vermonters this holiday season. Mm. Local 22's Devin Bates is live from Highball Social Cocktail Bar in Burlington and joins us now to let us know some more. Devin? Yeah, we are here at Stonecutter Spirits. I'm joined now by the co-founder here and uh, just give us a little bit of background on this gingerbread competition. As you can see right here, we have all kinds of different creations. Just give us a little bit of background on how this started. Yeah, we wanted to do a fun approach to the holiday season. So you can see we decorated the whole bar with a ton of Christmas decorations. And it's always fun when you can come up with special events that work with some sort of tie-in, especially if we can do some community support, have a fundraiser aspect. Just a really nice way to get in the holiday season. And could you talk about, so proceeds for this are going to benefit COTS, which is a local shelter that helps out struggling Vermonters. Could you just talk a little bit about, you know, the, the reasoning behind um, and how important it is during the holiday season to give back to that community? Yeah, it's the Committee on Temporary Shelter. COTS, they're a great Vermont nonprofit. It's really cold out right now, and there are a lot of folks who are homeless or who have less than the ideal housing situation. And to be able to raise some money for folks that are helping people in need is another really nice way to fit in with the holiday spirit. And so there is going to be the competition here beginning soon. There are some entrants starting to get ready to make their gingerbread houses. We'll talk to them and we'll have more coming up here from Stonecutter Spirits later on. But for now, live in Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. Looking forward to it, Devin. Well, on a different note, though, Local 22 is once again proud this year to be a sponsor of the Feed a Family Drive. We've had four locations. Tomorrow, our third. This time, we're in the capital city. Come say hello to some of our talent. Drop off food items or cash donations that will help out the Vermont Food Bank. We will be at the Hunger Mountain Co-op in Montpelier starting bright and early at 8, collecting donations all day until 7 p.m. Yeah, Spencer Thomas will kick things off for the day live during Local 44 Morning Brew. And after that, Brittany Kelson and Haley Boulay will be there throughout the day with live updates on the air. So we hope you come say hello to us tomorrow and help feed a neighbor. Middle school students in Winooski out and about getting to know their community. Coming up, a look at the project called Humans of Winooski. And helping to feed the community, as we were just talking about, can't be done without plenty of help from you. Meals on Wheels is in need of volunteers through the holidays. Plus, it is getting cold tonight and it's still a little breezy. Wind chills are around or below zero from Messina through the Champlain Valley into the Northeast Kingdom. Not so bad the more south you go, but as we lose the wind, temperatures crash. More on that and some weekend rain in just a few minutes.